quick announcement for you guys. So Jory will be doing a live this Saturday again. So please tune in at 9 a.m. to join him and y'all bring up your cup of coffee, your tea, because he's bringing the word. <laughs> so if you want to be encouraged, I encourage you to go ahead and tune in with us and hopefully what he has to share will bless your heart. Hey guys, welcome back to the Honest and Family channel. My name is Bename or B. If you're new here, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, and comment on our video. And also don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you know when we post a new video. So two weeks ago, Jory and I did a video called Why You Should Never Get Into an Interracial Relationship. If you haven't yet already seen that video, I encourage you to do so before you watch this one. So go watch it and come back. <laughs> I wanted to go more in depth on why some black girls might think white guys are better, some of the points that I've seen or some things that have been told to me. So hopefully you can get a better idea of why a black woman would go never again, white guys are just totally better. And are they in fact better? Let's find out. So number one thing that I hear is that white guys are vulnerable. They don't mind crying, they don't mind um, showcasing their emotions, which is fine. But does that definitely make them better? Absolutely not. We are humans and we are all different. So as you know, we all express our feelings differently. Now, with that being said, I grew up with five brothers and a dad, with the exception of one, uh, a lot of the emotions I got, aside from, you know, your regular laughter and et cetera, et cetera, was anger. I never really saw my brothers cry. In fact, I've never saw my brothers cry <laughs> until maybe now that we are a lot older and I've heard some of their emotions, which is like so shocking. Does that mean a white man or a white guy is better than them? Absolutely not. We just, again, have a different way of displaying our emotions. All right. So number two is what I hear is that white guys aren't as direct. Therefore, it's a lot easier when you are in a, an argument <laughs> that you both aren't coming in with guns blazing like what's good. <laughs> that if um, one partner tend to be soft-spoken or less aggressive, for lack of better words, then therefore they're better. Absolutely not. Again, white guys are not better just because they tend to be more passive. Um, yes, as a, as, a, as a race, as a people, we're very passionate when we talk. There's an emotions um the a way that we express ourselves and that doesn't mean a white guy is better than a black guy because they showcase their emotions differently since i'm gonna need you to stop saying this they're not better yes i'm married to a white man but i married him because i loved him not because i thought he was better than a black man now number three white guys are better because they are more affectionate <laughs> now y'all listen did I see my parents kiss? No. Did I see my parents embrace? No. Did I see my daddy go, honey, I love you? No. <laughs> but that does not mean a white male is better. Yes, does my husband um, show affection by hugging me and kiss me around our children? Yes. Or even in public places. In public places, he wants to hold my hand. Now, quick, quick, quick story time. So once upon a time in the land of Amundsen, where Jory was courting a girl, me, myself, and I, <laughs> y'all, we would be in the car, like in the car. He's in the driver's seat, I'm in the passenger seat. <laughs> he would want to hold my hand. At first I thought, okay, this is really strange, A, eh? because I am sitting next to you, like I'm right next to you. It's not like I'm in the back, way, way in the back, like we're in the same row. So why are you trying to hold my hand? So it went on for a very long time till like one day I was like, I can't take this anymore. I was like, uh, sir, <laughs> why do you have to hold my hand? Jory expresses some of his emotions or his love towards me by holding my hand or hugging me or kissing me. When I realized that that's how he expressed love or affection, it was easy for me to <laughs> embrace that. Before, Lord, I was like, Lord Jesus, this ain't gonna work. I'm so warm. I'm so warm. Oh my God. 
it's just so hot in here. <laughs> that drove me crazy, but now in the car, I actually reach for his hand. I realized that holding his hand in the car actually does tend to calm me down. Um, regardless if I notice I'm, in, I'm tense or not, it just calms me down because it's something I'm used to. Now, I haven't, I didn't see my mom or dad do that towards one another, but guys, my husband's parents didn't do that towards one another. So it's kind of silly and foolish to say a white guy is better just simply because they uh, want to show more affection in the public places. Um, black guys do too. It's just a little different. All these things are just differently. I've seen my brother embrace his wife. I've seen my brother kiss his wife. Now, in the beginning stages of before you get into dating when you want to show interest i'll show you what i mean by they are just different because we're different we're people we're human we're intended to be differently so if a white guy was to approach a black girl and tell them a corny like pickup line do you have a corny joke you can tell uh, are you tired uh no i'm not tired well, because you've been running through my mind all day. Okay. Like something corny like that black girl might go, oh, he cute. <laughs> like, he really cute. Oh, guys, I see you. Keep messing with me. <laughs> so they would be more attracted to that because it's not something they are used to. So it kind of piques their interest a little bit like, ooh, show me some more. Likewise, if a black guy is interested in a white girl and she's walking down the street and he go, what up, ma? Or what up, Sheldon? <laughs> All those are ways of them showing emotions. It's just absolutely different. Uh, and a white girl will go, <laughs> he's talking to me. Oh, he's calling me out just like... It's because it's not something they're used to. So it's something different. As humans, we're intrigued by something that is different than ourselves. Therefore, our um, minds and emotions get excited when it's something different. And I would be honest, that is one thing that attracted me to my husband. If you have not yet at this point seen our How We Met video, I will link it above so you can see what actually got me to pay attention to him and how he actually approached me. So I'm not going to go into details with that. I'm going to stay with the topic. Now let's pause and just take this moment because Jory and I have been talking and we just want to give a proper shout out to Miss Virginia Williams. Girl, honey, sweetheart, love, sis, mom, because <laughs> I don't know her age, but Thank you so much for your support. We appreciate it. We recognize it. We read all your uh, sweet comments. You're constantly commenting. You're constantly um, going back and forth with us. You're cheering us on. And we, we just want to let you know we acknowledge you and we see that. Thank you so much. Also, if you would like a shout out, if you would like for us to notice you, do connect with us, do interact with us. Um, so yeah, let's get back to the video. <laughs> Number four, why a black girl would say, never again, white guys are totally better. Well, is that they tend to say white guys are more adventurous. Uh, adventurous how? Growing up, did I see my brother or my dad or uncles or cousins? Boy, uh, boy cousins like get on four wheelers, go fishing, go hunting, go skiing, go dirt bike racing. Who? <laughs> That's not what we do. <laughs> it does not mean that white guys are better. Now there are some like, especially in the South, um, since we lived there, I did notice actually a community of black people that loved fishing, that loved, you know, um, dirt racing and all oh, dirt bike racing, all those things. So I think it just depends on your upbringing. It's not like a whole race is a certain way. Now, a lot of black guys are out there that I've met and haven't met every single black person. They're not a black guy, but they're not out there shooting, like just hunting, 
you know like i say again in the south there's more of that community than up north in a sense white guys are just different in how they display their adventurous side so my husband loves hunting fishing go-karting you name it dirt bike, anything crazy that i just wouldn't otherwise try he does it um and yes he did make me help me become one with the nature <laughs> He took me on his well actually on his birthday one of his birthday down south y'all i'm a city girl i might be from congo oh they say listen i might be from the motherland but she me is not gonna get a tent set up a whole tent while there's a perfectly nice house <laughs> with a bed waiting inside for me to sleep outside that's what what all right, so to be the kind wife that I am, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, to show my love for him, what I did was I surprised him one day with a camping trip. And yes, y'all, I camped and I actually enjoyed it. So yes, there's this tendency of them um, doing things to help bring you out of your shell. Where in other instances, you might not have tried those things because it's just not your upbringing as a black woman not all black women don't give me in the comment section y'all don't come for me don't come don't, don't do it <laughs> but yes I, I i have noticed that white guys tend to be more adventurous but that does not make them better it's just a different say different number five white guys are better because they don't mind saying sorry okay listen as humans <laughs> We have different personality and different traits. Okay, here's an example of what a sis might mean when she say, totally done with the black guys. White guys are just better because they don't mind saying sorry. Sis, I don't know who you've been with, okay? But you need to start opening your mind and your eyes because I'll give you an example. And I'm not trying to shade my black sisters because I am black. As you can see can you see it? yes all right my dad is an African man <laughs> and if you're African you know they just don't say sorry <laughs> not verbally they don't say sorry verbally but if you pay attention to the cues that they're throwing at you you will right re realize or you will start recognizing that they do say sorry it's just different so par exemple or for example Growing up, my dad never really said sorry, but his way of saying sorry was like doing deeds or making small jokes, like when um, he, he messed up and I'm like annoyed. <laughs> he might, you know, try and say something he otherwise wouldn't normally say, or he would try and buy me something. So that is his way of so, uh, showing um, that he's sorry or he, you know, recognizing that he made a mistake. Now, Depending on your love language, if your love language um, is like words of affirmation or words mean a lot to you. So yes, saying sorry um, would be better than having being bought things or making small talks. However, my love language is receiving gifts and out and um, extra service and quality time, all those things. So my dad showing doing gestures to show me that he was sorry was i was able to accept it i was able to see it because that is how i feel loved and that's how i just tend to um display love so again it's different it but it doesn't make the white guy better my husband on the other hand when he messes up he just comes out and say honey i'm sorry so difference one is not better so let's just get in the mindset of going people are just different and you need to love whom you love according to how they treat you they adore their wives they just oh my wife is everything oh i love her they speak well of their wives okay listen again it's just different okay no one race is better than another now does my husband make sure i feel like um i'm the queen of this um of this castle and 
uh, or of his um, his world, absolutely. He treats me extremely well. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit up here and try to say I understand what somebody means because I, had, I didn't date a, a black guy. I didn't date a white guy. My husband was the only person. <laughs> I was with again if you have not seen our how we met video go ahead and check it out people tend to show their emotions differently so someone saying that white guys are better because they adore their wives is just dumb uh, I'm sorry we are no longer <laughs> in kindergarten people express emotions um, and feelings differently hopefully that gives you an idea of what people mean when they say uh, white guys are just better or they treat me better. What they mean to say is just they're they're different. So because this channel is trying to encourage people from all walks of life, uh, you're not going to ever hear on this channel that we're bashing one race or one gender. It's just not going to happen. So if you were here for that, then you need to just click off because you don't belong in this uh, community. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and liking our videos and sharing them and we just really appreciate you guys and God bless you and with that dear friends keep looking up.